Hi, my name is Stephen Brown, Lee County Extension Service, and we're located in Southwest Florida. It's mid-June, but it doesn't matter what time of year it is, the plants around here always seem to have some kind of problem, at least this crinum lily behind me. So let's go take a look at what's wrong with the crinum. Here we are, massive leaf damage. Look at this big chunk taken out of this crinum. Look at this other leaf right here. Can anything be worse? Look at this. What's causing this great destruction of this crinum lily plant? Can it get any worse than this? Let's go take a look at what's causing this massive damage to the crinum. There's the grasshopper. I'm just as afraid of it as it is of me. It only has one hind leg. But if I can grab it. Here it is. This is a pest of a lot of plants we call strap plant. It is the lubber grasshopper. Wow. Okay, they're all over this plant and they're doing what they do best. Devastating this plant. You can see them right there. Just chewing away as they go. Apparently, no care in the world. What's that noise? Probably a warning to get out of here. There it is. There's another one. There's some more down here. You can see what they're doing to this, these leaves. Look at that. See those big giant notches? They've really done a job on this plant. There are a couple right there. The lubber grasshopper is pretty common in South Florida. Gets on a lot of strap plants, including pineapples, lilies, a whole bunch of stuff. One of the best way to control grasshopper is simply by picking them off with your bare hand or use gloves. I have this container and I'm going to be picking them off one by one. I do also have a lid because you know they like to hop so I got to keep them contained. So let's get started. This is our first grasshopper and he's going to be maybe a little bit of trouble. Knock him in there. Okay. Let's go around and get some more. This is what you got to do. You got to have some courage but these gloves is really going to enhance your courage and your determination because you're not going to feel their spiny little bodies. So watch this. This is how you do it. Got it. See that? Live specimen. And just make sure that these others don't escape. Banging them down here. Ah, they're probably all going to jump out. There, it's in there. Oh, got it wrong. Hold on, these lubber grasshopper are tricky. They're not like caterpillars that are gentle. Ah. No wonder the Egyptian had to run out of their houses when the plague came on them. They had to deal with millions of these all at once. This is hard work. You can see I'm sweating away. Actually, it's just a hot day. 90 degrees in the shade. On most plants, you'll probably see a couple of lubber grasshopper mating. I think I can grab them both at the same time. Okay, double play. There they are. Got them both. With a plague of locusts in a box, this is Stephen Brown with the Lee County Extension Service. And remember, there's always something new to learn in the Florida landscape. I'll see you next time.